All right, so today I'm just going out to the new cycle gear here in Chula Vista by my house. I'm gonna pick me up a new visor. Alright, so I've been seeing a lot of Volkswagen bugs on the road and it just reminds me of my first car. When I was 15 years old, my dad bought me a 1969 Volkswagen Bug, $500 for the car. It was not in very good shape, but put $500 more into the motor and at least it was a running driving car. My first job delivering pizzas in that car, I spent every single paycheck I had at the VW place that was literally right next door to my pizza shop. I did whatever I could to that car with the money I was making. I would buy just a little part here and there. Ended up changing all the parts off of it, trying to make it look like an older bug. Cause I didn't like how the 69s looked. I wanted it to look like a 66. So I had my brother-in-law change the front and rear apron. He cut out the old ones, welded in new ones, smoothed it all out, removed the plastic dash pad, cut down the seats, made them into low backs, did everything I could to make it look like an older car. Got a cheap paint job from a local community college, had this thing all decked out, brand new interior, did all that part myself, and it was just, it was an awesome car. While I had it, it was just a stock 1600 dual port motor, so it wasn't very fast at all. Could barely get out of its own way, but for a first car, it was so much fun. I had it dropped all the way down. Adjustable suspension up front with drop spindles and disc brakes. A nice little stereo system inside. The car was awesome. So when I went to sell it while I was in the army, my dad told me, he said, I'll pay you whatever you've got into it. Keep this car in the family. So we had that car for a little over 20 years. So that was the new cycle gear. It's pretty cool in there. And one day after my dad moved to Arizona, it just wasn't running right. Couldn't figure out what the problem was, so he thought it was just something wrong with the jetting or you know some kind of tuning issue. So he went and just tinkered with everything that he could, trying to figure it out. So my dad went through it, you know, going through all the normal stuff, spark gas, air, checking everything, checked the tune, played with the jets in the car, checked all the connections, everything. After tinkering with it for a few days, my dad finally gave up and said, I'm just going to take it into the shop. So he borrowed a buddy's trailer, loaded it up on the trailer, was driving into town, and then this happened. Some lady wasn't paying attention, T-boned his truck, flipped the car over on its top, and just totaled it. Every time I see a bug, I just think about that and get all sad. So the car was totaled, but he ended up selling the, the pan and the engine, wheels, everything that was still good, he was able to sell. And then went on to live in a different car. But we had that car for a little over 20 years, and that's how it had to end its life. Hope you guys liked it. And thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below, and again thanks for watching, see you guys on the next one.